Tonse, 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 everybody. My name is Sin K, and call me Sin for short. And welcome to more Ration and Clank, a crack in time. Hopefully, I just said that right, right? You know. And if you don't know what Tonse means, it means hello in Cree, which is the indigenous language I was born with, although I don't know it fully. I'm not fluent. <laughs> Anyways, brief recap: We went to a planet Fallum, I believe. We met the general who was our father's best friend. And then we came here to look for a way to get in contact with Clank, to find a way to, you know, get, a, get, a, get, a, get, a, get, a, get, a, get, to be able to get to him. And now we tried to find out where his location was and stuff like that. So now we're off to a different planet, which I forget the name of. And that'll be all, and that'll be all. Actually, oh, before we get on the ship, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel makes it push out more you know the algorithm pushes out the videos more and everything i would really appreciate that that way we can get more people on my journey of ration and clank um I, i'm not done all the games yet we're not up to the modern ones but uh yes i would definitely appreciate if you liked and subscribed and you know any advice is helpful for the games whether it be editing anything i appreciate a lot i'm trying to make this become a thing but i'll i post every day so anyways without further ado i won't take up much of your time as i already have as i already have let's just get in here Copy that. I've got the coordinates. Just so you know, I'm sorry you had to go so long without another Lombax to talk to. If I'd known you were oh, alive, shit. I would have come for you. Just know that from this day forth, you have a family. He already had a family. Well, on one of his own kind, I should say. His own species. I can understand that though. This, this is why I okay. This is why I relate to Ratchet so much. Is because there's not a lot of indigenous people. There's not a lot of us. Even though you'll see us around in Canada a lot. In actuality, we make up a small fraction of Canada or of America in general. We're probably like the least two percent or one percent. Something very small. A very small fraction of us are still around. I believe. And it kind of blows my mind that when people see me, they're either disgusted or surprised or shocked. There we go. But yeah, I can, I can relate to Ratchet like that. Feeling alone or, you know, feeling not that important or relatable to others. I think that's why I'm getting so connected to this game. I really wish I knew, knew this about these games when I was a kid. But I was a Halo kid, so... Alright. Alright, right, 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 right. Now what? Oh, I don't want to do this. A sector. Oh shit, we didn't do the sector yet. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Ortho sector. Pollux believes the entire procedure will require approximately 183 paradoxes. 84 if the blog participate. Uh, sir, might I suggest we allow the terachnoids to examine the chamber before testing the machine? That's the matter, Lawrence! Chicken? Whoopsie, sir. Butterfingers. I just learned that the Lombaxes have destroyed the VX-99. Our sentries are searching for their vessel's signature as we speak. Unacceptable! I practically handed those squishies to you on a silver platter! How could you be so utterly incompetent? I'll leave you two alone. If Ratchet or the Elder find the clock, our plans will be ruined! Your body will remain crushed and abandoned on Zorik. Is that what you want? I'm 
bringing in specialists. Cassiopeia. Well, hello there. Karina. Bonjour. And Libra. Hey, how you doing? Oh my Valkyries. God. Whoa. Decades ago, your colony was atomized in the era of a supernova. How would you like to have it back? Wow, is it thickness? Damn. They be thick as fuck with three C's. That was incredible, sir! Bam! Pow! Kaboo! And then you had that awesome one-liner! And what was that again? Oh, yes. One hypersonic brainwave scrambler scrambled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! That was cool! Right now, what? Orientation room this way. Orientation? Yeah. Just use your helipack, sir. Oh yeah, somebody said this was a triple jump. I did I did know it was a triple jump, by the way, sir. Or ma'am. say? Never put up today what you've already done yesterday. No, that's not right. Nobody Always says do that. today what you didn't put up yesterday. Nope, nope, that wasn't it either. <laughs> yeah, well, it was something about doing stuff and when it should be done. This way, sir. Clock welders dispatched to primary chronosphere. All personnel, please stand clear. Oh, all this broken stuff. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, there's another one. Got it. Let's go, sir. Oh, I did not mean to do that. A puzzle! Sigmund, why am I not affected by altered time? That's your quantum actuator at work. It provides temporal immunity for those of us who protect time. Temporal recording initiated. Oh. Temporal recording initiated. That's cool. Temporal recording initiated. Nice. Come on! Orientation room this way! Easy peasy. This is the most awesomest part of the clock! Large screen Crystal X display. VG 9800 game system. The works! Take a seat, sir! Orientation video is about to start. Orientation? Let me see this. Dun da da da! Orvis Industries presents The Great Clock and You with your host, Orvis! Hello! And. Uh, oh, is it on? Uh, Sigmund? Uh, the light is blinking. Uh, should it be blinking? Nah. Hold on, sir. Okay. Try now. Hello, and welcome to the Great Clock. <laughs> You're here because you've been selected to join our team. And we couldn't be happier to have you. We have a lot to discuss. But first, let's take a look at what the Great Clock is. Eons ago, our kind entrusted the Fongoids with a special gift. The gift of time travel. We had hoped it would enrich their lives as it did ours, but uh, unfortunately... They lost it up! Uh, Sigmund, uh, let's just say they were overzealous in its use. After only 3,000 short years, the Fongoid's use of time travel wore the space-time continuum thin. Paradoxes wow. stacked on top of paradoxes, conundrums on top of conundrums, until one day, a tiny rift in the continuum destroyed 83 celestial entities. Existence, it seemed, was at an end. If the universe was to survive, it would need a heart transplant. So, I designed a special gift to repair the damage. The Great Clock. Built in the exact center of the universe. Give or take 50 feet. The <laughs> clock would repair the rift and restore temporal normality to the universe. And that, my son, is where you come in. 
There are only two rules concerning the operation of the Great Clock. Number one, under no circumstances is it to be used as a time machine. The clock is not meant to alter time, only to keep it. Number two, should you find yourself wanting to use the clock as a time machine, consult rule number one. <laughs> Did you hear that, Sigmund? Because rule number one, you see, says don't do it. <laughs> Brilliant, sir. All right, all right. Uh, let's go have some tea. <laughs> Incredible. The Great Clock is responsible for temporal stability across the universe? Now you know why Orvis kept it such a secret. Without this station, the universe would just collapse on itself. Really? And where is the real Orvis? I told you. It's a secret. Now, come on. It's time for another lesson. Sorry, guys. I like fixing everything. So he said there's another lesson. Does that mean I'll go back in my brain? Hello, XJ0461. It's good to see you again. And now it's time for your most important lesson. Hmm. What am I learning this time? The clock's primary function is to maintain temporal normality. When that normality is threatened, you must act to repair it immediately. Time anomalies detected on Creeley Comet. Ah, the Creeley Comet. Beautiful, isn't it? As you can see, it has fallen prey to temporal rifts. As caretaker, it's up to you to fix it. Go ahead, give it a try. Fix the rifts by focusing your chronoceptor's beam on each anomaly. Whoops! Be sure to stay away from anomalies you've already repaired. Two, one. Fix the rifts by focusing your chronoceptor's beam on each anomaly. Oh. I get You're it. You're doing quite well. Crippling broken arms will split into multiple parts. Not fixed. Temporal ribbon impact in three, two, one. Okay. Where's this guy? There he is. Keep going. There we go. Just a few left. Before they can re-break fix times. Oh. Temporal ribbon impact in three, two, one. Warning. Oh no! Don't don't you dare break. Don't you. Yes. Excellent work, dear boy. Now come, there's one more thing I want to show you. And what is it? There will not be anything crazy. I mean, it has to do with time. Time is pretty crazy in itself. But still. I'm actually really li liking this. Like When they fire like at you, just swing your chrono scepter and give them a taste of their own medicine. Oh. Hit me. Oh, you missed. Time reversal is also handy for rewinding anything your enemies throw at you. I hope you don't mind, but I borrowed these figments from your subconscious. Oh, okay. Is it gonna be Quark again? All right, figments. I knew. Snap to it. <laughs> You're a natural. Poor <laughs> <laughs> Quark. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Hit me. I dare you. Good show! It very much reminds me of a sport I read about once called baseball. Baseball. 
I love him, man. He's so cute. There we go. I am very proud of you, XJ0461. And now, you're ready for the task ahead. Go forth and fix time. Save the universe. When you're ready, my chamber will be waiting. Aww. Program terminated. Where is he? That's what, hopefully we get that answer. Welcome back, sir. Are you ready to repair time? Ready as I will ever be, Sigmund. Uh, may I ask, what is the chamber? Ah, the Orvis chamber. That's the main control hub of the entire facility. It's also the most secure. I've never been inside it myself, no. but I hear it. You? This is one of our planet moves. Your first task as senior caretaker is to repair the damage caused by Dr. Nefarious. Just meet me back here when you're done. Die. There we go. So Time I have to pick it up. Oh shit. Look at those big eyeballs! <laughs> Fix everything, cause we love to fix it. Okay, now. Quantum restoration initiated. We should wave energy. Oh. Temporal weapon impact in three, two, one. Temporal weapon impact in three. Two, one. Nicely done. Come on. Warning. Come on, Stim. Don't you dare break apart on me. Temporal rhythm impact in three, two, one. You're getting pretty good at this, sir. I know I am. I have it here. Warning. Warning. Oh no, there we go, there we go. Holy shoot, we did it! Woo! With 35 seconds to spare. So good at this game. Restored to the pro gamers, guys! That was amazing, sir! Thank you, Sigmund. Thank you. Another puzzle room. Temporal recording initiated. Okay, what does this door do? Temporal recording initiated. There we go. Oh, it's that door. Oh, I'm stupid. I was looking somewhere else. Temporal recording initiated. I think that's enough time, right? Temporal recording initiated. Okay, now I get off the of right? Okay. Temporal recording initiated. A recorded entity has failed. What? I failed. Temporal recording initiated. I right, wait till he gets on. There we go. Yeah. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. I seen this in there, and I want to know how I can get it. Hell yeah! Now let's do this. Come here. <gasps> okay, I was like, why the hell did it work? There we go. Junior <laughs> caretaker to Solana Terminal 6. Repeat. Junior caretaker to Solana Terminal 6. Am I a junior caretaker? Is that what I am? Gotta fix and destroy. Time anomaly detected on planet ten four. Oh. Hit me again. Bitch. All right. Come on, there we go. Oh my lord. Whew. Custodian of time. I like fixing things, okay? It makes me feel good. Anyways, let's save this planet. Quantum restoration initiated. Then it will pop it in. Oh! That's so cool. Temporal ribbon impact in three, two, one. Come on. Temporal ribbon impact in three, two, one. Please don't break apart. Temporal ribbon inbound in three, two, one. Holy shit, what happened there? Warning. Rift speaker detected. Warning. Rift speaker detected. Warning. Rift speaker detected. The last one? Fuck yeah, holy shit. We did it, boys. Temporal normality restored to planet Torrent 4. Hey. Bitch. There we go. Oh. Oh. Hell yeah, Clank's a badass. Oh, thank you for bringing that for me. So what do we do here? What is Temporal recording initiated? Oh. Temporal recording initiated. Oh, come on. I was gonna freak out. I was gonna be like, really? Oh, hell yeah, we made it. Will a junior caretaker please report to Grab Station 7 for Versus Use Maintenance? Thank you. That's what I'm doing. Duh. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Oh, more of these things. Come on. <laughs> more Garys to take care of. Oh, what the hell? Oh, did you see fly away so fast? What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. Junior caretaker to Solana Terminal 6. Repeat. Hold on, sir. I'll get the door. Another puzzle. Temporal recording initiated. Starting to love these puzzles a lot. You know what I mean? It's shit. Let's restart that. Temporal recording initiated.
There we go. And now we'll use the green Temporal one. Recording initiated. And we'll go to this. And go. And then no. Uh, Temporal recording initiated. Come on. Thank you. Oof. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Which one do I want to do? Temporal recording initiated. Why didn't he move? A recorded entity has oh failed. Oh my god. Temporal recording initiated. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait now. A recorded entity. I'm so stupid. Temporal recording initiated. Wait till he moves. Ah, no! Temporal recording initiated. Okay, the moment he moves is the moment I'm gonna move. And we're gonna run all the way back over here. The green guy, yeah. Temporal recording initiated. Come on, come on. There we go. Thank God. Bitch, hit me again. Wow. Hit me again. Bitch. Doors open, sir. I'll get to it. I just love nuts and bolts. Will a junior caretaker please report to Grav Station 7 for Versity maintenance? Thank you. Don't tell me what to do, bitch. Up we go. Here we are. Let's hopefully not fall. Did we ever learn about uh, Ratchet's mother? Or did she die? Oh, wait. Did we already learn about that? I'm so confused. Oh. Bitch. Thank you for that, though. Time anomalies detected on planet Tarachnos. Hey, these are all the planets we were on, right? Hit me again. Bitch. Look at that. I'm so fucking good at this game. Oh, oh, he's still alive? Never doubt. Quantum restoration initiated. Last planet. The slow time power up will slow time across the planet. <gasps> so cool. Temporal ribbon impact in three, two, one. Ribbon inbound in three, two, one. Warning, risk detected. I think I'm doing this. In three, two, 
Mann. Oh, please. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes! Fuck those rest speakers, man. Fuck them. Temporal normality restored to planet Terechnos. I'm just sick. Oh, he's the junior It character. would not hurt to say please once in a while. <laughs> Accessing archives. Hello, Sigmund. I just wanted to let you know I will be traveling to the Tombly outpost on Xanafar and will not be back until morning. A fellow scientist has requested an audience with me and etiquette dictates I comply. Don't go, sir. Mind the clock while I'm gone. Uh, wind the time cleaners and, uh, Sigmund, uh, let's just keep this our little secret. As the kids say, BRB. <laughs> Please don't go. End recording. It's dangerous. Aww. I feel like he got like kidnapped or hurt or something. Now entering Corthos sector. Meanwhile. Warning. Warning. Hostile ships detected. Ah, shit. Well, well, well. Oh. What do we have here? Ooh, it's them. Oh, looks like this long box is lost. What do you say, girls? Shall we help him find his way? Cassie, <laughs> we've picked up a signature 3,000 kilo cubits north of Orak Minor. It's a Lombak ship. Hmm, General Azimut. The bounty's up to 2 million bolts on him. Libra, be a good girl and take care of our friend. We'll kill the Elder. Oh, we don't have to take them all at once, eh? Don't think I can General, handle it? come in. Oh. You've got hostile ships inbound. I see them. The Valkyries, expert pilots who work for Nefarious. I'll lose them in the asteroid belt. You just head for Lumos. Just you and me alone, Max. Show me what you got. I have a ship that's way better than your ship. out of ten come on <laughs> come on all right there four out of ten we're almost more than half need one more make it half please please oh shoot That's six out of fifteen. Oh, more than half. I need help. I don't want to die. No. Oh my. 
No! Alright, I think I made it back to where I died. But I just thought I have a bit more out than last time though. I couldn't have said anything. You're not half bad. Have you ever considered mercenary work? Come on, you little bastard. The Sony ship won't take Yes! Oh my god, we did it. Oh, so scared. Get the hell out of here. Oh shit. This, I swear. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, this time we're not gonna fucking go near that guy. We're just gonna go straight. Straight here. timing. I've triangulated the Obsidian Eye's location to somewhere in these caves. Follow me and stay close. All right, folks. Tanse. This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Now, I think this is a, a fucking Clank episode. You know what I mean? This whole episode was just about Clank. And that section took me a long time to get through. And it was just... Some of it was frustrating because I, I did crash a couple of times, which you guys probably won't see that. Anyways, I am really digging this game. And the ship combat just, like, just went totally difficult in that section. Maybe it was just because it was a boss fight. Everything just got a little harder. So I'm probably going to have to do an episode where I just explore and start doing all the catching all the zoning and stuff. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Anyways, I'll catch you guys all tomorrow for another Ratchet and Clank episode. And without further ado, bye bye Smell you later. Make sure to fucking eat some peanut butter and jelly lately. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.